All right, hello all. Uh, it's that time of year again, and I'm going to uh, uh, go through the process of uh, the Arch Linux Midfinger Edition, uh, November 2015 release. And I've added uh, a few things, uh, most notably uh, an installer, finally. Many thanks to Carl Duff, uh, creator of Arch Linux Architect. Um, installer for Arch Linux so it's much easier to install and then you can have your own username and passwords and so on uh, so this is off live USB mode um, this isn't from my uh, desktop yet well it's a desktop but on a USB of course uh, so give me an idea I've uh, integrated um, uh, some GNOME uh, things such as the document viewer and online accounts and uh, the chat and stuff and the XFCE for desktop is obviously uh, the main uh, environment so I included some documentation uh, after install you want to look at this Pac-Man not working I think I have zoom yep so um, either you use sudo and then just copy we'll just copy and paste this whole line in so let's just go to the just click on once a single click install arch mid that's short form so you pick your language make sure you're connected to the internet it does have out of the box most chips should work prepare the installation set your virtual console to whatever country and your keyboard layout again same idea uh, list devices if you want and there you go and uh, SDB is the one I want so exit partition disk and in my case again SDB and then this comes with gparted and you see it's already allocated but I'm just gonna highlight this and click device I'll zoom in device create partition table and get a warning all data will be erased um, I'm using MS DOS and I think GPT I'm not sure sorry I don't have a EU uh, uh, UEFI BIOS uh, but maybe you have to use GPT on that if you're using uh, the newer BIOS so anyway my, in my case is MS DOS you click apply and now there's nothing it's completely gone so now we'll just add and I don't use a swap file you can so if you wanted to take away two two gigabytes or so from this or four depending uh, you, you just uh, do that and then create an extra swap partition through gpart and I'm not gonna well you can give it a label say arch and then uh, once you're done with that it's a primary partition it's the whole disk I'm using and I click add and then I click apply and apply again and it's quickly done I'm not using I didn't set up uh, for logical volume management so I'm just going to mount the partition and it's going to be SDB1 and it's extension 4 give that a second now it's going to ask for a swap file. I'm going to click none and done. So we go back and install base. And this is basically rsync and a few other commands in the installer to clear things up. So your desktop is ready when you reboot for the most part. So I'll just pause this because this uh, takes uh, two or three minutes at least. Okay, once it's uh, finished running a, a base install, just run mk init. Uh, CPIO for your um, images, backup in images, and so on, and fallback image. Then you install a bootloader, um, Grub2 in this case, and it. Uh, this is where I want it because I want I have Arch on a, its own hard drive, SDB. So you select yes. This includes uh, OS Prober. So if you have uh, another operating system such as Windows, it'll pick it up. Okay, and then you click back. And now you just configure the base. Um, I think uh, last time I said I used device I think I UUID for the most part is uh, your safest bet set yourself a host name to whatever you want uh, set your time zone that's it uh, I I leave it at UTC uh, 
I know it suggests uh, local time, but UTC is better, and there is a workaround for um, on the Arch Linux uh, documentation to edit the Windows registry, so you don't it doesn't use uh, automatic time, and everything's good. So set your system locale, and then you set your root password and your user. Um, add a user and the password as well. All right. When you're finished with that, just uh, hit the back. And I'm going to review, and I'm going to personally I do that. There's a couple of things I do are the hosts. Uh, I'm not sure if the, there's issues with the installer, which I haven't looked at. Sorry. Is I'm going to put my uh, host name, and that looks about right. So Control O to write out, Control X to exit. Pseudo words. This is up to you. Um, I like to have uh, no password prompt when I use Pac-Man command line. So I just uh, comment the uh, wheel equals all to wheel equals all no password. Control O again and Control X. And you can look at your file system table. You see it's uh, real time data equals order. Uh, solid state you can change that. Again read on the wiki. And you can see here it's zero one, which is what you want. It's the highest priority for uh, the file system check. And for now, I'm just going to leave that. So exit. So that's it. Close installer, and it unmounts the uh, your mounted partition. Okay, so it's installed. The Arch Linux Midfinger Edition is now installed, and now. You just restart your computer, log in, and I'll continue with the rest of this.